Hello, I'm Marty Williams with Let's Go Arrow. We're going to do an ARC RV setup video. ARC's a great piece for uh, high door vehicles, uh, RVs and sprinter vans. So I've laid the parts out to kind of give you a little walkthrough about the components we'll be working with. Um, the webbing straps hold the saddle, the U-tubes together, and the U-tubes are steel chain shock cords. So just take the U-tubes and kind of lay them out in a in a cone shape, a funnel shape, for starters. Um, one end should be about 10 feet apart. One end should be about six feet apart. Uh, the next uh, thing to install are the saddle poles, and there's three different saddle poles. There's a front saddle pole section that is all straight, tent tubing. There's a far side saddle pole that is missing a section. Um, in the final setup, once the cover's on the arc house, um, there's about a 30 inch section at the bottom of the tall saddle pole that you insert into the U-tubes and literally move the arc RV up into its final nine foot, four inch dimension. Uh, rear saddle pole first, um, shock corded. Uh, it has uh, one final section on each end get inserted after the cover is on the frame. Um, so the cover, the entire setup can be done without a step ladder or step stool. Um, a bit of tube wrestling. And now we'll do the front saddle pull section. That's the saddle pulls without any um, uh, bent connectors or um, plastic end tips. Uh, the ARC RV has uh, three different lengths of spanner pulls, and, and, and spanner pulls basically join the uh, saddle pulls together. So you've got a blue one uh, marked with blue that attaches here. An identical blue one that goes on the other side. And they just clip on the nickel barrels. Then you have a center one that's red. Um, and now we're going to install the um, middle saddle pole, the center saddle pole. And it attaches to the spanners by way of uh, cord locks. So elastic, bungee type cord locks. You just do a single wrap on the pole intersection. They really do a good job of <clears throat> putting structure in the shape. Um, so like with the rear saddle pole, the middle saddle pole, um, we're going to leave the bottom section unconnected, um, which will let us pull the uh, cover over the frame again without standing on a step ladder or um, requiring a step stool to do it. Um, it's best to kind of let it assemble itself. Catch the outside intersection first. Lift it up just a little bit. So you take a cord lock, just wrap it around the union, the two poles, and pull it tight. Once we get the cover on, we'll unseat this temporary connection and add the last 30 inches to the connection and then at the same time right after that make the final connection on the center saddle pole and clip it to the steel u-tubes and we're about there so um, what you want to do with the cover is um, find the velcro swatches that are on the upper end 
They correspond to the top corners of the frame. So pull the cover over the frame um, by kind of starting it around the front. And then uh, just kind of tease it up. So you've got the rear corners, um, they kind of lock themselves in, it's a kind of a tailored connection. So once you got those far corners on, um, you can then take your final section and insert it. Stand on the wedding straps so nothing moves. And you can complete the center saddle pull connection. Just clip it on the union and the tube. house corner connection it's a pocket with a wrap uh, shock cord and uh, bungee cord fair lead you know, hook from the inside So for the final uh, pole uh, setup, you can take the lower saddle pole, lower spanner poles, and uh, let's get them clipped in. There's some uh, bun uh, Velcro wraps that we can do to tie the cover to the frame real well. Let's get this done first. So we'll uh, clip, clip the cover on the frame, add a little tension to the webbing strap, and then we'll do the tension on the uh, 360 tension system. So you can uh, shrink the cover on the whole frame by doing this. Basically it runs out to a fair lead. It's right here. So once you got that done, there's a couple of uh, Velcro wraps that uh, further secure the cover on the frame. When you wrap those, there's two on each side and two in the front. And then um, you get a, a door with the built-in screen and an optional uh, connector panel. So we'll show that later, but the installation of the connector panel will wrap around your exit door. The ARC RV door is um, just a zip-on piece. When it's windy out, the door really helps to put a lot of stability in the structure. Um, it's got a screen, large screen panel built in. Um, the Arc RV is also designed with two zipper chains on this dimension. So you can have a door on and a wrapper, a zipper mate, to connect another Arc to it. So 
So thanks for taking the time and thanks for having the interest in the ARC RV part. It's a new piece in the RV lifestyle and we think an important one. It's a great structure, weighs 24 pounds, easy to transport, does wonders to expand your living space in the outdoors. So again, I'm Marty Williams with Let's Go Aero. Thanks for taking the time to consider ARC RV.